Hi, in this video we're going through how to complete the 5th GTA 5 Story Mode Mackenzie Airfield Arms Trafficking Air Mission, the Airfield Carpet Bombing Run. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then for our series, Every Business in GTA 5, as we look at maxing your cash in the 5th Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode Mackenzie Airfield Arms Trafficking Air Mission, the Airfield Carpet Bombing Run. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. The first five air trafficking missions are all once-offs, so you should take the time to get the bonuses and really enjoy them. From mission six onwards, you'll end up rotating between three standard drop missions. And while there's no gold in this one per se, it can be a little challenging to get through it with all the bonuses intact. Now before starting this run, I also highly recommend grabbing a plane and practicing the split S maneuver, where you do an inside half loop followed by a half barrel roll. If you've not seen this before, check out the flight school video linked up top or in the description below from around the two minute mark. So let's pick it up as we're pulling out of the hangar. So yank that stick straight away, we have got no time to spare on this one. Steer out and get airborne as soon as possible. Gear up, so G on your keyboard and the left thumbstick for PlayStation and Xbox. And there we go, and bank off to the left there and go straight across the LMOC. Now even though once the uh, the briefing is done, we end up with a marker on the right hand side, we do want to take a wide approach on this one. There's the marker, and what we want to do is head towards Trevor's airfield and we can see there's some people there that shouldn't be there. Make your uh, approach there nice and low and then again using the mini map to gauge when to drop bombs. There we go. Head back out, get past the airfield and then once we're clear enough do an inside half loop. So that's basically pull up on the stick and then a half barrel roll and that'll line us up for the next run. So nice and low, ease off the gas and then use the mini map to gauge where you're at. Bombs away wait for just a few seconds until we're clear at half inside barrel roll and then half inside loop or half inside barrel roll yeah doesn't matter which order you do it in all right and then we're going to take that final run there we go very happy with that one all right, so one more just to get up altitude and then I'll do that quick barrel roll to get right side up and we can head back to the airfield. Now we are directly across the Alamo Sea from it, so we want to head to the left of the marker. And there's the airfield, so nice and easy one in. Gear down, so G on your keyboard or left thumbstick. Line ourselves up, might be coming in a little bit, mm, bit low here, but that's okay. Over those back markers, drop it down. Oh, I'm coming in way too hot. That's okay. Steer in. Just drive straight in. We want to try and get, get in as quickly as we can to get that time bonus. And there it is. Very happy. Three minutes even. The extra $250. So yeah, happy with how that's turned out. Plus, it was a lot of fun. We got to blow up some planes. We got to do some carpet bombing. And I don't think we get to do that anywhere else in the story mode version of the game. So why not? And uh, yeah, let's just take a quick second to look at that vellum. It is, it is a bit of a machine and it will make us a boatload of cash in this game. So thanks for watching. Check out the video up the top for the next variant or the one down the bottom for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.